Hello, I am Nathan Bailey with 3CX, and in this training video, we will be discussing MyPhone features and functionality. This is part one of our MyPhone two-part series. 3CX MyPhone allows you to take control of your calls from your computer. Using your browser or installed locally for CRM integration with Outlook, Salesforce, Microsoft Dynamics, Sugar CRM, or Sage Act. Works on Windows operating systems and Mac OS, and you can use 3CX MyPhone with a hard phone or a soft phone installed on your PC and take advantage of integration with 3CX Phone for Windows version 6. For this tutorial, we will assume that you have Silverlight installed on the local computer and full updates installed for use with 3CX Phone system. To start using MyPhone, all you need to do is open a browser window and type in the address bar the IP address of the 3CX Phone system machine, semicolon, port 5000, forward slash MyPhone and hit enter. This will load the browser mode of my phone. When it loads and you are prompted for your extension number and PIN, you can right click anywhere in the browser and you are prompted with two options. First is the Silverlight options and second is to install this application locally. For this example, we will install my phone on the local computer for Outlook integration. Next you will have a security warning pop up, click yes and installation will proceed. Now that we have MyPhone locally installed, double click on the MyPhone icon on your desktop to start using the application. Once it loads, you will be prompted for your extension number and PIN number. The PIN number is your PIN you are assigned for the voicemail system. If you do not use the voicemail system in 3CX, you will still need to assign a PIN number before disabling voicemail for users to be able to access MyPhone. Once logged into MyPhone, you are faced with a lot of information and statistics that you may or may not understand on first use, so let's discuss the features in MyPhone. In the top left corner is your presence status. This displays available, away, out of office, custom 1, or custom 2. It also displays the associated forwarding rule for that profile. So if my status is set to away and I have calls forwarded to my voicemail when I am away, it will be displayed here next to my present status. With number two, we have the dial pad and number text box to enter or dial a number from. If you use the text box, it will search your phone book for matches as you type for smart dialing, either a name or a number. Pressing the dial pad will bring up a numeric dial pad so you can click the number to dial directly. Next, we have the time display from your system time, and next to it is the missed call icon, and if you have a voicemail, it will be displayed here as notification. Last, we have the queue login and out button. Green means you are logged into the queue, and red means you are logged out of the queue. This is the global button, so pressing this will either log you out or into all queues. Next with number four, we have the tab section. Here are my phone tabs starting with extensions from the left, Cues tab, call history, voicemail, phone book, settings, and the conference tab. Now with number five, this is the call section. It displays information on incoming or outgoing calls depending on rights that have been set up. You will either see on a call, private number, or the actual number that is being dialed. Next, we have the extension group list. First will be the group you are in, or if you are not set up in a group, the extensions not set up will be listed here. Now with number seven, we will have other extension groups listed below, along with present status and call status. Again, depending on the rights given to you, this will depend on the information that you see here. And last but not least, with number eight, we have the logout button and the links to the 3CX help page. When configuring an extension for use with MyPhone, you need to consider some of the options you want users to be able to see. These options include turning off MyPhone so users cannot log in and take advantage of MyPhone, hiding the extension in MyPhone, hide forwarding rules tab, hide extension details tab, and hiding caller ID information in MyPhone. These options are in the extension settings other tab. Queue Statistics is the second tab in my phone and allows administrators and users to keep track of queues and see statuses of agents. You can limit what queues agents can see if they are part of a particular queue or not. Now with number one, this list shows active queue calls either waiting in the queue or on a call. Option two, these fields give queue specific status and stats. 
The first field after the name of the queue lists first calls waiting in the queue to be answered, and the second option shows queue calls that are active with an agent. Next are total answered calls for the queue, then we have abandoned calls percentage, then the longest waiting time for incoming calls into the queue, and finally, under other, it shows average waiting time for the queue and then average talk time for the queue. Now with number three, we have agent specific details, logged in status, or if they are on a call, it will display time on a call here and if it is a queue call or not. Then it shows total answered calls and then total abandoned calls. And date and time, the agent changed their status last. So in this case, we can see that extension 104 last logged into the queue November 18th at 11.01 a.m. and has total talk time is 59 seconds. Also in version 10, if you give agents the right, they can log themselves into or out of individual queues by right clicking on their name in the queue and selecting log in or log out. Remember this option is only available in the call center edition. New with Service Pack 5, hiding caller ID for my phone will display private number when an extension makes a call or receives an inbound call, no matter what rights other extensions may have in group settings. This shows what will be displayed if the option to hide caller ID is not selected. In this case, the caller's number will be displayed. This has been Nathan Bailey with 3CX. Thank you for watching part one of our introduction to my phone. I hope this information has been informative. More training material is available at the link provided.